okay this is going to be nice and quick it's going to be as quick as I can but uh, it's going to be interesting <laughs> so unbeknownst to me completely unbeknownst to me I did not see this at all I, this completely slipped under my radar but about uh, 22 what time is it now so about 19 hours ago at this stage um, Stephen De Knight was like put up a maybe a questions thing or fans were asking him questions I'm not 100% sure what it's about but um, uh, basically he was quote tweeting the questions and replying to them in bits and pieces one question was side question what are you working on now question mark Stephen De Knight quotes replying I really, really wish I could tell you keeping quiet is killing me. Damn dogs. Anyway, keeping quiet is killing me. James Gunn replied to that quote with a smiley face. That's it. That was it? That was it. Okay. Then, then, right, if you go to Back in January, Screen Rant and a few others, they weren't the first to, to put this news out, but I do remember it being everywhere. But I'm just going to take the Screen Rant article. So, former Daredevil showrunner Stephen Denight wants to make a new Superman movie with Henry Cavill. And the villain, quote, love Brainiac, but so many great ways to go, end quote. Okay, so let's just break down the possibilities here now. James Gunn produced, or um, James Gunn maybe even directed, Stephen Denight written Superman movie. That's number one. Then you also have the idea of Stephen Denight directing a Superman movie himself. Okay, so he wants to make the movie. If James Gunn's involved, maybe he would produce or something in some way, shape or form. That would be a bit weird, but we'll see what's happening. And then um, there's a lot of... Pa- Look, I'm not, actually, no, I was thinking that it could be like the next Justice League project. That's what jumped out to me. Not actually Superman, but Justice League in some way, shape or form. I don't know why that's jumping out at me, but that was the idea I got in my head when I was like, oh, the two of them working together. What's the possibilities there? Justice League, just Justice League 2. Just jumped to the forefront of my mind. And then I thought about it, and James, I'm sure, has stated that he isn't really interested in working on a Justice League movie. I think he'd rather stay in the niche genre of um, Suicide Squad. So then... There's a few other ideas that came into my head around that. What if it's like the new game coming out? Suicide Squad versus the Justice League, but it's like Suicide Squad versus Superman. And it's Henry Cavill Superman. That would be an interesting movie. It would be an interesting way as well to like bring Henry back in, you know, not giving him his own movie, but having a good connectivity. And working forward then and then bringing out Man of Steel 2 when the next big major worldly trek comes along. That can be his task to take on. So it would kind of fit a bit different that like, you know, we've seen the Suicide Squad where it was said he was shot with a kryptonite bullet. He was put in ICU, blah, blah, blah. He was obviously still alive after said because he showed up in Peacemaker. So that means he's still alive in the universe. He didn't die from the kryptonite bullet and he's not off planet. So... We we there's a there's a lot to there's a lot to think of there. There's a lot to look at. Um I don't wanna jump ahead, but I just wanna portray this news to ye. I'm giving ye the tools to help yourselves with this information. But the reason I wanted to make this video real quickly is actually not because of that news. It's because on the nineteenth of May, which is actually yesterday, not today. Um, this was actually only put up about nine hours ago, though, so um, it's a bit late for me. So it must have been late on the nineteenth for everyone else, but 
Ben Affleck and Robert Richardson visited Hollywood Hills to test lenses for an upcoming project. Yeah, I don't want to get hopes up, but Richard has worked on Live By Night, Kill Bill, Kill Bill 2. He's done Glorious Bastards. Um, he, I'm sure, like, there's a whole thing there about him and Tarantino. He's worked on a lot of Tarantino movies. What else do we have here? Um, Platoon, uh, Wall Street, Born on the Fourth of July, The Doors movie in 91, JFK, A Few Good Men, Natural Born Killers, Casino, um, The Horse Whisperer. There's, there's, a, there's a lot here he's worked on. There's a lot that he has under his name. Um, but in particular, Live by Night with Ben Affleck already. Now, I, I've, I've an awful feeling I saw the two of them recently scouting locations and they named the movie that they were scouting locations for. So I don't want to... I don't want to say it's for the Batman movie. It could be a ruse. It's very possible it's a ruse. I don't think it's a Batman movie, but let's let's just say it is. That sounds that sounds that sounds cool. <laughs> that pairing sounds pretty cool. But um I'm gonna verify that. I'm gonna go back and see if there's any connection there were Richardson and uh Affleck and see if I even tweeted anything about that because I'm pretty sure a couple of weeks ago I saw that they were together and I got excited and then I saw the title of the movie that they were making and I was like oh okay but let me verify that for everyone and I'll get back to you but anyway let me know what you think about the Stephen Tonight news and let me know your theories on what it could be is there a chance we'll get Cavill back if he's now attached to something um after the upfront yesterday anyway with the letdown um as i said to everyone you know you you got to bear in mind that uh we may not get everything we want in this you know and i i didn't think we'd get a lot of announcements i actually we uh, i think we got a bit more than i was expecting um but then once i saw the peacemaker thing i was like oh we're we gonna get something else now but there was nothing but that doesn't mean we're not going to get announcements fairly soon because that's the way I see it happening. It's going to be within the first 100 days um, or at least, uh, you know, on the 100 days, we're going to get another big announcement. Um, I think it's 30 days in now, as of yesterday. So I'm going to start a clock on that one and mark up the major events. So we have about 19 more days to 50 and then obviously... 69 70 days whatever to uh, 100 but they would be the big milestones i would pay attention to 50 um 60 days in as well because it would be the two months at uh, 90 days and then 100 but they they would be the main ones i'd look out for so keep an eye out for those times so during the summer we are going to get a bit more once the company starts coming together and once they actually appoint ahead of dc films or DC Film Studios, or whatever they want to call it. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, and thanks for listening.